Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Kenna, and if you do, then hello and welcome. So today's video is going to be all about The Ordinary again. Okay, so I've talked about The Ordinary uh, before on my channel. Everybody knows who The Ordinary is. Everybody's probably tried out a few of their products, or if you haven't, then maybe you should watch this video and see if you should. Um, but yeah, I just like, kind of wanted to do a revisit on The Ordinary. I feel like they get a lot of comparison videos done about them and I'm just here to say that I think that there's, there is some value in the products that they offer and, to, and so we're going to talk about that today. So if you want to see what I think about The Ordinary products right now, you know, a few years into them becoming a brand and becoming super popular. Um, and the product recommendations that I do have from The Ordinary, uh, as they are very affordable and quite effective, then just keep watching. I feel like I have wings. This is like a moment. Okay, enough of that. Okay, so yeah, as you heard in the intro, I feel like The Ordinary gets a lot of, I don't want to say hate, but a lot of people are kind of like, moving away from the ordinary which um just if you're in the skincare space yeah there's just so much stuff to try so many good drugstore brands so many affordable brands and the ordinary really prides himself on being very affordable um, and very simplified and i think where a lot of people do go wrong with the ordinary is one using too many products at once and two using too much of the product itself um, because a lot of their products can have a bit of a almost sticky finish if you use too much But if you don't use too much then they are actually quite pleasant to use and if you're using too many at once It can definitely do kind of like more harm than good on your skin. So we're gonna get into that today I'm gonna give you kind of my recommendation for what a routine a full routine from the ordinary would look like um, And this would address kind of you know your most basic basic skin concerns like moisturizing your skin, soothing the skin, providing some, you know, firming elements to the skin, and also a couple products if you have blemish prone skin. So we're gonna get into that right now. Okay, first product that I do want to talk about is the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. So this is, you know, not my favorite cleanser just as like a regular cleanser i love 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 this as a makeup remover this is a really really nice makeup remover it's gentle enough that you know it's very effective at taking up off all kinds of makeup even like waterproof makeup i find um, but it doesn't irritate strip or um burn the eyes so i do like this one it is like a cream cleanser formulation it does not like suds up a ton so if you really need to have that sudsy feeling you're not going to get it from this but like i said it's a really nice makeup remover cleanser or if you're just starting out in skincare and you just need like a really basic cleanser um this is a really nice one and especially as we move into winter months you can start to kind of swap out a gel cleanser for something like a cream cleanser that is going to be a bit more moisturizing squalane is an excellent ingredient on the skin um and because it is in this cleanser a little bit will be left over as like a residue on your skin um so that will have some nice moisturizing emollient benefits in there as well but this is definitely a product that i think is worth having from the ordinary and all their products are just so affordable all of them are less than ten dollars so number one okay next is the buffet now this is an aqueous product um it is kind of like a gel so it's like a gel you can see that anyways so basically this is i feel like a really underrated product i mean for the price it actually does something on your skin as soon as you put it on i can tell that this definitely has a very firming effect on the skin the peptides in here are supposed to basically be like a temporary Botox situation. I mean, it's not gonna be like Botox at all, but I do find this product actually to be quite smoothing and firming on the skin, and I notice this effect right away. So I feel like this is a really underrated product from The Ordinary because I find that it really does have an effect right away on my skin. So I love using this one, especially in the morning to kind of tighten up and wake up those under eyes. Um, I think this is a good one to have if you're looking for any kind of smoothing or firming action i seriously think this works right away okay next we're going to talk about a hydrating product now their hyaluronic acid and b5 is really really hydrating you just have to use it properly so i apply this kind of as the last step if i'm using okay i cleanse my skin and then i use maybe a serum like the buffet or another serum that i'm using and then i generally will use this as a topper serum before a moisturizer and i make sure that none of those layers have like dried in between so that i'm locking in all of that moisture because with hyaluronic acid you want to make sure that there's lots of 
water still present on your skin so it's gonna lock that in and not draw it out of your cells it's gonna like bring it in and then the B5 which is panthenol is like an incredibly soothing ingredient so if you have dry or irritated skin or even blemish prone skin panthenol is going to be a very soothing ingredient for you and so this product is really nice especially as we get into those winter months when some soothing action on the skin can be a really good thing. Next, I just want to talk about their niacinamide and zinc. So this is really great if you have uh, blemish prone skin, acne prone skin. The niacinamide is good also if you have dry skin because it does help kind of regulate um, that sebum production on the skin. So this is a really nice one. And then the zinc is also very soothing on the skin. I mean, people claim that zinc is good for acne. Um, that has not as much data behind it as I would like to see before I use say that to you guys but zinc is also very soothing on the skin so if you have blemish prone skin zinc is a nice ingredient to include in your skincare routine because it's going to really help reduce kind of that irritation and redness associated with breakouts so this is really good if you are prone to breakouts or blemish prone skin and a lot of people don't like using a really high niacinamide percentage like for me i don't think that i need a whole 10 percent of niacinamide although this is 10 percent, so i can what i can do i just drop like add like a drop of this or two drops of this into a moisturizer and then I'm kind of diluting those effects um, into the, another product before I apply it on my skin. So that's a way to kind of dilute that niacinamide if you think it's too much for you. But also a really, really good one, um, especially I think for like teens and um, young adults, this could be a really good friend of yours and very affordable for that kind of age in your life where you're not making a lot of money. Okay, the last uh, two products, well, yes. This is two products, then one more product. So I just wanna talk about the lactic acid and hyaluronic acid. Lactic acid is such a good alpha hydroxy acid if you do have dry skin, because not only is it going to exfoliate the surface level of your skin and remove kind of that dryness that's kind of flaking up on top, but it's also really, like it's like a humectant, just like hyaluronic acid, so it's going to actually add moisture into your skin. Um, so they offer two percentages, um, one is 5%, one is 10%. If you've never used lactic acid, definitely start with the 5%. Definitely follow the instructions on the box. Um, you're gonna have to you know, work your way up to something like a 10%. And to be quite honest, I could use 10%, but I still opt just for a 5% because I just don't need to irritate my skin or open up any opportunity for irritation on my skin. That's just not my jam. So even though I probably could get away with a 10%, I just stick to a 5% because I do have sensitive skin and I don't want to, you know, potentially overdo an acid like that. So the lactic acids that they offer are excellent, you know, very simple formula. You're looking for an alpha hydroxy acid. This is all you need. Just the lactic acid from the ordinary. Perfect. Okay, and then last but not least is just their basic moisturizer, and I know this is a popular one. So this is the Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Hyaluronic Acid. This is a really nice formula. Um, it's not, it's a, like, so it is a cream moisturizer. I'm just going to apply some to my neck. It is really nice. It doesn't break me out. Um, it definitely makes my skin feel moisturized. You know, it's just a basic moisturizer. There's nothing wrong with this. So if you're not wanting to spend $30 on a moisturizer, this is a great option. It gets the job done keeps your skin nice and hydrated and moisturized. Uh, this is one that I definitely can opt into in both seasons, but because it's more of a cream finish, cream product, I mean, this is really good for like fall winter versus I know a lot of people prefer like a gel cream moisturizer in the spring, summer or all year round. Just depends on your preference. But if you're looking for a really, really good moisturizer on a budget, then there's nothing wrong with this product. <laughs> okay, you guys, that is all the products that I really want to talk about from The Ordinary. Of course, they have so many for so many different reasons, but as far as your basic skincare routine, if you're just trying to keep your skin moisturized and hydrated and looking you know, smooth and radiant, those are all great products. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. Yes, they're very simple, um, but they are very effective and very affordable. So I don't think that there's really much to hate on there. I think that they are good products and definitely if you're wanting to have control over the ingredients in your skincare and you want to really know you know how much of each kind of ingredient you're using it's such a great way and you can really be kind of like the scientist of your own skincare routine which is really fun um but yeah just make sure you're not using too many products at once and that you start to oops 
Okay, I have no idea what, what I was saying. <laughs> I have no idea what I was saying. Um, oh, yes, I think I was just saying, like, if you're going to try a new product, just make sure you introduce, like, only one at a time. Introduce things slowly and just be aware of how each product is, like, affecting your skin. So, yeah, I think that's it. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. And let me know if you do have any more questions about the Ordinary products or, like, a specific product by The Ordinary. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.